I'd like to welcome everybody out to our first uh, virtual athletic signing for our spring athletes this year. Um, this is what we normally do under normal circumstances. We would be in the RPAC, but today uh, we're going to do this thing virtually where we celebrate some of our student athletes and their hard work um, on the athletic fields and courts, but also in the classroom and uh, wish them success on the next level. So welcome everybody and um, we'll get started with the first athlete. First up, signing a swimming scholarship to Southern Illinois University. Everybody make some noise for Valerie Bates. Hi, my name is Colin Ferris and I'm the Associate Head Coach of XL Aquatics in Brentwood, Tennessee. I've been lucky to know and coach Valerie Bates for the past two years. Not only is Valerie a multiple high school and Southeastern swimming qualifier, she also is a top 16 finisher at both the high school state and the sectional level. Valerie's determination and focus will help push her through at the next level at Southern Illinois University. I look forward to seeing her perform in the future, and I know that she will do her best. Congratulations and good luck, Val. Next up, signing a fencing scholarship to Tufts University. Everybody make some noise for Alexis Ender. Alexis, for the past four years, it's been an honor to be your fencing coach here at Music City Fencing Club. I've had the opportunity to watch you blossom from an innocent young girl to an independent young woman, and you've become so much stronger and smarter along the way. The first time we met was at a fencing tournament at Vanderbilt University in the fall of 2015. I remember seeing you, such a young girl, easily one of the youngest and least experienced fencers in the room, but you were fencing against grown men and women. During one of your bouts, you had an equipment malfunction. You were visibly distraught, and I remember you looking around the room in panic, and I couldn't help but remember what it was like to be such a young kid surrounded by so many experienced fencers. I felt compelled to give you a hand and hopefully help you remain calm, but it was your determination and fearlessness that carried you through the remainder of that tournament. And it was only later on that I found out that was actually your very first competition, yet you had managed to finish ahead of nearly every college fencer on the Vanderbilt University team. It was this drive and desire for success that I believe brought you to join our fencing club and begin training and competing at the regional and national levels. You went on to qualify and compete in the U.S. National Fencing Championships just a few months after that initial tournament, and you've qualified for every national championships and junior Olympics ever since. Alexis, I am so proud of how far you've come, and I'm excited to watch you continue your journey as you join the Tufts University varsity fencing team later this year. This is a tremendous accomplishment, but I would expect nothing less from such a high achiever. Congratulations, Alexis, and let's go Jumbos. Next up, going to play rugby at Long Island. Everybody make some noise for Ava Zolf. Congratulations, Ava. Ava, you're a special young woman. Uh, basically, you took part in a sport that at first did not seem like a great fit for you. You're undersized, oh so timid and unsure. But there's something about you that we saw in Hope with Girl. A passion for this game of rugby and an instinctive approach to the game. Your greatest gift was your speed and your toughness. Both of these attributes only grew as you learned more and more about the game. So much so that here we are today with you moving on to play at Long Island University on a rugby scholarship. To say we are proud would be an understatement. You are the heartbeat of our team, a scrappy scoring machine who is as passionate about our teammates as she is the competition. Your heart is what we saw in those early days of your high school career, and it beats even stronger today. All the best to Ava. We love you. We miss you. And uh, we know you'll make us proud. Fins up. Next up, signing a volleyball scholarship to Vassar College. Everybody make some noise for Carly Cooper. I'm Abby West, I'm the head volleyball coach at Ravenwood High School, and I get to talk about Carly Cooper, which is kind of surreal considering I've known her since she was 12, and I've been a big fan of hers ever since. Um, to give you a little bit of a background, she's a three-year varsity athlete, a major component in the success of this program. This year in particular, she was team captain 
um, all district, all district tournament, all region tournament, all mid-state, and all state. Um, she also received the Raptor Grit Award, which is something that's particular to our program. Um, it's voted on by her peers, and it's kind of cool that she got it because when I was writing out the description, I actually had Carly in mind, but basically it's an award that acknowledges a player um, that is not only a gritty competitor, but someone who displays a courage and conscientiousness, perseverance, resilience, passion, and um, you know, Carly has this deep sense of purpose and displays selflessness in all of her actions. And it's, it's just who Carly is. It's who Carly always has been. It's the reason why her, her teammates love and respect her. It's the reason why I love and respect her. It's the reason why every single one of her coaches has nothing but respect um, for her. Um, and Coop, I, I just hope I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I hope you know how much I I love you and how much I'm gonna miss you. I'm so excited for you know this next chapter in your life at Vassar. Um, I know that you will always have a Raptor heart. Um, you will never be able to to be replaced, um, and we will miss you. Um, you've left an incredible legacy here at Ravenwood, and I hope you're proud because I'm proud of you. Next up, signing a swimming scholarship to Wingate University. Everybody make some noise for Connor Wright. Hi guys, Coach Don here, head coach for Ravenwood Swimming. I'm so proud of Connor going on to swim in college. We're really going to miss him a lot next year. He has been such a versatile swimmer for us and he is fiercely competitive. I always knew whatever I put him in, he was going to work so hard to win. Um, this year at state, he swam the 100 fly and finished fifth. He swam the 200 free and finished eighth. He was also a member of the 200 free relay that finished 10th. He was a member of the 400 free relay that finished ninth, and because of all of that, um, he propelled the team to a fifth place overall finish in the state. He's just really been such an asset to our team. Um, really happy for you, Connor, going on to swim at Wingate. Can't wait to see what you do the next four years. Uh, good luck. Next up, signing a fishing scholarship to Carson Newman University. Everybody make some noise for Drake Hemby. Captain Jake Davis here with Tennessee Bass Nation High School and Tennessee Bass Nation College. And we want to congratulate Drake Hemby from Ravenwood on his recent signing with Carson Newman University. Young man, we wish you all the best and I look forward to seeing you on the Tennessee Bass Nation College Series. And next up, signing a rugby scholarship to the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Everybody make some noise for Jake Rath. Congratulations, Jake. Uh, Jake has played this game since middle school and from day one has had a personality bigger than his size, that's for sure. Uh, he is creative, intelligent, athletic, and natural. Uh, instinctive, willing to put in the work, push himself, and tries hard to be the best. He's also a pain like most teenage boys, uh, but in a good way. Uh, not just due to his unbridled spirit and stubborn way, but that big personality. He's never met a stranger, and even when in middle school preferred to speak directly to adults than his own teammates. Uh, so much so that his style of direct communication garnered him the nickname the President. Uh, no doubt this young man is destined for, destined for big things. Uh, once he falls in love with a subject in college and gives it his all, he'll be the best at it. Jake's love of rugby and his team helped us garner another state championship this past fall when our boys won the Division One State Cup Championship for Sevens Rugby. That's a version of our sport played in the Olympics. Um, Jake and his 11 other teammates were dominant in all phases of the game this past fall due to their collective efforts, and uh, which Jake was, Jake was definitely a standout in all categories, including the painful ones. Congratulations, Jake. We are pulling for you and hope you keep growing in the game as you take your rugby passion on to the college level at the University of Tennessee. Go balls. Next, going to play lacrosse at the University of Manhattan. Everybody make some noise for Juliana Levine. Juliana was a transfer student as a junior at the Ravenwood Raptors. And she was one of those unexpected surprises a coach loves to get. 
The minute she stepped onto the practice field, you could feel her energy, her competitiveness, and see her work ethic and her love for the game. And it did not take her long to become a dynamic part of that 2019 championship season. Her intensity and passion, creativity and lacrosse field were contagious to all her teammates and pushed each one of them to get a little bit better that year. She was an all-region and all-state player in 2019, as well as being named the MVP of the 2019 championship game. In her short period of time as a Raptor, she's second all-time in single-season assists with 40. She's fourth all-time in single-season points with 92. She was voted a captain this season by her teammates, and I could see her senior season was the one where she would take a young group of freshmen under her wing and begin to mold them and their future as regular lacrosse players. In a short time, Jewel set a standard of excellence and competitiveness that will be a new bar to reach for for future Raptors. Congratulations on signing with Manhattan College, Julianne. Next up, signing a swimming scholarship to Rhodes College. Everybody make some noise for Katherine <laughs> Nettleton. Hi, my name is Colin Ferris, and I'm the associate head coach of XL Aquatics in Brentwood, Tennessee. I've had the pleasure of knowing and coaching Kate Nedelicki for the past two years. Kate is a multiple high school and Southeastern qualifying swimmer, and she had an extremely successful senior year. I look forward to seeing her perform at the next level at Rhodes College, and I know that her bubbly and social personality will help her push through all those hard sets in the upcoming years. I look forward to seeing her perform, and I know that she will do her best. Congratulations, Kate, and I wish you all the best of luck. Our next athlete signing a volleyball scholarship to Lindsey Wilson College. Everybody make some noise for Madison Bidwell. Hi, I'm Abby West. I'm the head volleyball coach at Ravenwood High School, and I'm here to talk about Madison Bidwell. Uh, we call her Biddy, and just to give you some stats on her, she is a three-year varsity athlete and an integral piece to our program all three of those years. Um, but this year in particular, she was team captain, Max Preps AVCA Player of the Week for, ten, for the state of Tennessee, um, Gateway Tires Athlete of the Week, all district, all district tournament, all region, all mid-state, and then her teammates also voted her for the leadership award. And Madison was so deserving of all of those awards, but they don't even begin to describe who she was to us, who she was to our program, who she'll always be to our program. And, um, you know, we sometimes we think of these great leaders as being people who have to be super vocal or, or dominant. And although Madison has the ability to be those things, Madison's strength comes in um, leading by example. And, uh, you know, she works extremely hard all the time. Uh, she gives everything to her teammates. Um, she takes responsibility for her mistakes and, and supports her teammates through theirs. And she's never going to ask her teammates to do something that she's not willing to do herself. Um, she took a lot on her shoulders this year and she did it all with, a, all with a smile. And at the end of the day, she is an incredibly kind person. And because of who Madison is as a person, um, it, it, it's, it's why her teammates love to follow her and they went where she guided them. And Biddy, I'm, I'm not sure that you still fully grasp the, the impact that you had on our team and um, or the legacy that you've left, um, but it is a great one. And I hope that you are proud of yourself because I couldn't be more proud of you. And I'm excited to watch you at Lindsey Wilson, um, but no matter where you're at, you will always be a Raptor. And um, I hope that you know who you are to us. We love you. Next up, signing a lacrosse scholarship to Reinhardt University. Everybody make some noise for Shelby O'Neill. So every year uh, with our incoming freshmen, we pose the question, why do you want to be a part of this team? So as a ninth grader, when we asked Shelby that question, she wrote, I love the sport and I plan on going to college with it. So since stepping on the field as a freshman, she had a clear focus on what she wanted to have happen and knew that hard work was the only thing that was going to get her there. Shelby has been one of the fiercest competitors who really bought into my philosophy of competing each and every day in every circumstance. She brought a no-nonsense attitude, determination, and blue-collar work ethic through every game or practice. With that mindset, she evolved into an outstanding player, and more importantly, it made her the consummate teammate by setting the example of pushing others to be their best. They say one person in pursuit of excellence raises the standards of everyone around them, Shelby's heart, passion, and sacrifice and commitment to this team will be her lasting legacy. We can't wait to see all that she accomplishes at Reinhardt University. Congratulations, Shelby. 
Our next athlete is signing a soccer scholarship to Austin P. State University. Everybody put your hands together for Tori Case. Congratulations on your signing day, Tori. It's unfortunate that we couldn't do this under better circumstances, but you're the type of person that can see the positive in the situation. This is why your teammates chose you to be a team captain. This was the mentality we needed to become a great team, and you also become the first soccer team in Ravenwood history to win a state championship. What a fantastic group of girls we have, but it took your leadership, positivity, and your compassion for it to come to fruition. This is what Austin P is receiving, and this is the legacy that you're leaving in Ravenwood and the soccer programs. You've laid the framework for what it takes to compete and lead a team to win a state championship amongst some of the best teams in the country. It will forever be missed at Raven, but will never be forgotten. Once again, congratulations on signing your letter of intent to play soccer at Austin P. Continue to create incredible memories, Tori. Take care and good luck. Thank you all for attending our first ever virtual signing. And to the athletes that signed today, uh, just know that on behalf of Ravenwood High School, Dr. Pam Vaden, the administration, all the teachers, faculty, and staff, thank you for all of your hard work over the years in the classroom and on the courts, and good luck on the next level. You guys are going to do great things. We love you. Bye-bye.